Hello, this is Brett, and in this video we're going to talk about structs. So up to this point in our learning, we've talked about different primitive data types, such as uh, characters and characters arrays, which are strings, uh, integers, we've talked about floating point numbers, double, etc. Uh, all of these different data types that can be assigned to variables. So there's a new concept that we're going to introduce, which is a way to take a grouping of these variables and put them into like an outer structure that better articulates what we're trying to do. So I'm going to use the, in the case of a, a person that goes into a medical office and we need to collect information about them. So up to this point we would probably uh, create a new variable for their name, we would create an integer for their age, we would create uh, maybe something for their height, and let's say their weight, that's what we'll use. And then we can come in and we would start assigning values to that, say name equals, uh, let's put Joe Bandito, it's a place in Springville that I like to eat at, Joe Banditos. Uh, the age would equal 35, the height let's say is 72 inches, and the weight we'll say is, uh, you know, 200 pounds. So we would start assigning values to these these variables. Now, one of the problems is these really are all grouped together. This is referring to the same instance. It's the same person, but we have separate variables. And so what C does and other programming languages allow you to do is take these variables and group them together. Uh, some, The way different programming languages do it is a little bit different, but the concepts are basically the same. So in C, we can create a struct called a person. And in this person, that person struct can have different attributes. So I'll take these variables and I'll put it inside of this person struct. And now instead of having to create all of these variables over and over again, we create a struct called person and we give it a variable name called Joe. You can see here this is the data type. So before we would say like int and then we'd give it the the variable name. Here we're saying the data type is struct person and the variable name is Joe. Then what we can say is Joe.name, Joe.age, Joe.height, and Joe.weight. So what this does, when we assign Joe Bandito, we say the name attribute on the Joe struct is this string right here. And then we say the age attribute on this person struct that's called Joe is 35. The height attribute on the person struct called Joe is 72. And then the weight attribute on the person struct called Joe is 200. So then, like before, we can come and do a printf and we can say name, then we'll specify we're going to put a string in there, and then we can say Joe.name. So if we save that and then we run make structs and we'll execute structs, that's the name of my file here, we can see name is Joe Bandito. So if we put a new line in there then we can copy this and we could actually print out all of the different attributes of Joe uh, called, let's do age, and then here we're going to reference Joe's age, so we'll save that, make structs, you can see Joe Bandito, age 35. Let's go do another one. I'm going to paste a couple of these in here so we can do. Let's do age, height, weight. And so Joe's height is the height on Joe, and the weight is the weight on Joe. So if we save that, compile it, and run it, we can see that. The name is Joe Bandito, age 35, 72, and the weight is 200. So it's a way, structs allow you to create your own data structures, really, and have a name tied to them, name tied to them called person, and then you can have attributes tied to those structs. So that's a quick introduction to structs. Uh, you'll see structs more in later lessons as we talk about pointers and we get into more um, uh, more projects and what we when we start building a project we begin to model the real world as much as we can in the code so that it's more 
understandable and it's more readable. And so this makes it really understandable that, hey, there's this grouping of attributes, uh, a name, age, height, and a weight, and we call that grouping a person. Um, and in C, that's put together in a struct. So do those exercises, play around with this, uh, get this code working for yourself, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.